How many mountains to get some confidence? How many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass. I'm still the same. Hi everyone, it's Mary Beth from MB Gray Designs. Welcome to my channel. Today I am taking part in the Spring Bee collab with these amazing talented creators. I want to thank Kiki from Kiki's DIYs and Ellie from House to Home for putting this collaboration together. And I'm so excited for you to see everyone's creations. I will, of course, have the playlist listed in my description box below, along with Kiki and Ellie's channels as well. So I've got five DIYs for you today. This first one, it's a little bit longer <clears throat> kind of to explain, but the rest of them are pretty quick, so I hope you bear with me. All right, so I decided I wanted to make, um, I don't even know the correct term for it, but it's like those bee houses, like on a bee farm or something, I think. Anyway, so I took um, two of these square crates from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to stack them on top of each other, and I'm going to make a little roof. And so I'm just using these painter sticks, measuring out what I need. And then um, I believe it was three on each side. And I'm just going to hot glue those in place. And then I am going to paint this with, um, I think it's called Coffee, Coffee Latte by Folk Art. And I really liked it because I wanted this to be, I looked at some pictures online and it seems like they were more of a lighter, I don't know, type of color wood. I'm not really sure. So not like a really dark. So I tried to kind of match that up, I guess. Um, and I just thought this was so much fun to make. I like building things. Um, and, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to put some faux honey on here and some bees and a bow. And it's just going to be so cute when it's done. I will say this, the colored honey, the colored honey, oh my gosh, the colored hot glue sticks that I got, I got them off of Amazon. I did not realize they were glitter, right? And so it's like a gold, gold color that's glitter. And I was like, ugh, you know, it worked out okay. But throughout the video, the other times that I used hot glue to make fake honey, I just used regular hot glue and painted it a yellow color that I liked. So I just wanted to let you know that. All right. Well, I'm going to let you sit back and uh, enjoy this DIY and I will catch up with you in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm using these little skewers just uh I wasn't very even with the roof, but I don't know. I thought it added to it. I'm okay with it. Um, anyway, I did forget to mention. So I got these really cute stencils. Also, they'll be in my Amazon store off of Amazon. And I thought they were so cute, just all bee themed. Um, and so I'm picking out a honeycomb. I think I used two different honeycomb 
patterns. I think one was a little bit bigger than the other one. And this is the yellow that I'm going to be using. This is the same yellow I will use for the honey later on. Anyway, um, so at first I, oh, and I wanted it to be, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I did the stencil, I wanted this yellow to be just a little bit darker. So I added some of that coffee latte in with it. And I think it turned out really good. Um, all right, so I am going to put a little Mod Podge on here, which for me works really well. Um, and then after I do that, I'll stencil the yellowish color on there. And it just helps with um, preventing uh, bleeding. And so for me, anyway, it works well. If you have any other tips and tricks for stenciling, I am all ears. So let me know down in the comments. Also, I just want to thank everybody for being here. And if you are new to my channel or coming over from this amazing playlist, welcome. My name is Mary Beth, and I love to do all different types of DIYs. I really love um, rustic and farmhouse. I like shabby chic, a little bit of boho. And my favorite type is, of DIYs are thrift flips. Love doing thrift flips. So if any of that interests you, I really hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel. I would just be so happy if you were here. And if you are an existing subscriber. You already know I'm so, so grateful for you. And I just really want to thank you for coming back and for always supporting my channel. I get the sweetest comments and it just really, really, really makes my day. So thank you so much. I really, truly appreciate it. All right. So here we go. So I added the honey. I did the stenciling, added the honey. And now these little cute bees, I also got these off Amazon. The only thing I did not notice is there they have like a pin like a sharp pin on the back well i didn't know that when i got them probably because i didn't read the description real well however um that does clip off pretty easily so i just wanted to let you know that um because i believe i have these listed as well on my amazon storefront which by the way in my description box it's it should be there but also my link tree is one um you can click on that and all my sites are listed there. So anyway, just so you know. But I want you to know that they have this little pin on it in case you go to my store, just so you're aware. Anyway, but they still worked out. And I just think they're so cute because they're not super big, but they're not super small. I don't know. I liked the size of them. And I just thought they were darling. They have little Google eyes. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, this ribbon. Oh my word. I have to tell you this. So last weekend... We drove my parents to a very, very small town in Iowa, which is where my dad is from, um, for a family situation. Anyway, um, there was this really old, they literally have one street. Okay. That's it. One street. And there was this old store that this woman used to do a lot of crafting. She had amazing stuff. I walked out with, my husband had a big box and a big bag of stuff and Anyway, like this ribbon, um, I really liked it and it's brown and white and it was like 25 cents for a huge roll. Like one of those, I don't know, not like a normal size ribbon, like a really big one. Anyway, I got tons of ribbon and fabric and all kinds of things from her. So that was really cool. Um, so I'm starting to use some of that stuff. So it was really neat. I was, what a cool place. And I told the lady, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want to buy the store. She's like, oh, please do. <laughs> It was kind of funny. I'm like, I'll be back. You know, it's about two hours away, but I don't know. It might be worth a drive. Anyway, long story. Sorry about that. But here we go. We're going to be finishing this up and then we're going to move on to DIY number two. Hey, darling. I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Well, there it is. I just thought it turned out so cute. I really like it. Um, all right, moving on. DIY number two. So this DIY was really, really simple. I have one of these little wooden um, house shapes from Dollar Tree. And so I went to pull these little foam flowers off, but I didn't realize these leaves were like 
stuck on there and they were kind of, I don't know, kind of like a felt, I think. Anyway, I was able to get them off and scraped it and then I sanded really, really well. Tried to get that paint off, which I did. And so I sanded it down to the wood a little bit. So you'll see that here. Got a little messy, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take uh, Waverly uh, in the color Maze and we're going to paint this whole thing yellow. That really pretty yellow. I love that maize color, by the way. Um, and then I'm going to go back with the stencils that I was telling you about. This really cool one that has a B and it's not really cartoonish. It's more like a, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Like a real B image, you know, like more of a um, authentic. I don't know the word I'm using for. Anyway, um, and we're going to stencil that on with some black paint. And then I'm going to sand it up, make it look a little bit older. And then we're just going to add a little bit of twine and a bow. And I thought that this, and a little flower. And I thought this one turned out so super cute. It's so easy and perfect for a tear tray. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep because I'm not tired. I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep, I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling, it's cold outside And I kind of feel like it's too late now I just miss you I just miss you mm -hmm. We were such a constellation wreck No you to agree Okay, moving right along. We're, we're moving along quickly here. Uh, look how sweet and cute that is. It, I, I was going to maybe put um, those other flowers in there. But anyway, I chose this little sweet um, daisy to put in the middle. And then I did distress that daisy a little bit with some distress oxide. It's I believe it's a um, either vintage photo or walnut color. Anyway, I just wanted to add um, a little bit of grunge to it, I guess, just to kind of match the piece. But there you go. 
I love it. I just think this is so cute. And again, perfect for a tiered tray right next to our little bee house. How sweet is that? All right, moving on to DIY number three. Now, this DIY was super easy and pretty quick. Um, this is a pickle jar. I wanted a bigger jar, but you could use a mason jar. You can use whatever you want. But I love recycling jars and things. And I'm going to paint it in the color maze. And then all I'm going to do is take some painter's tape and tape it off and paint some black stripes. Super easy. Um, make sure to mop, hodge, and seal and all that afterwards. Um, and then we're just going to do a pretty bow and we're going to put some sunflowers in it. And that was super easy. And I think this is such a neat thing to do. It just adds sunshine <laughs> to your home. Just really pretty. You could put it in the kitchen. You could put it anywhere, really. Um, so, yeah, this one was really easy and I hope you like it. Well, there it is. Look at how cute. And I used one of those little sunflowers um, off the bushel of them that I had. 
uh, to put in the middle of the bow. All right, DIY number four, I'm gonna make a beehive. I've never really made, last year, I made kind of a beehive, but it was a vase that had flowers in it. This is just more of a normal beehive, but I thought it was so cute and it was so much fun to make. And I used one of these um, clay pots. It's not the really, really small one. Um, it's it's more of a, I mean, it's still not like a big, huge one anyway. Just wanted to let you know, it's not the super small one from Dollar Tree. Um, and I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm making a loop and then I'm just going to um, go all the way around. With this jute, I'm using that nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I think this is the thinner one though. But anyway, I'm just gonna, um, yeah, as you can see, I just covered that up. Now, I took some nautical rope and split it apart. You know how there's like three of them combined, like if you untwist it. And I took one of those to make the little, um, you'll see here, but the little round, kind of the opening to the beehive for the bees. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. So I had to twist it. And then I just made a circle and put it right there. And then I'm going to paint the inside of that black. Um, I mean, I think a lot of us have seen this done many, many, many times, but we all have our own little take on it. So I'm going to paint that black. And then I'm going to, um, after that, I think what I do is, yeah, I do the honey that I talked about with just regular hot glue. And then I'm going to paint it uh, with that same yellow that I used um uh, on the house that we were painting. Remember the house from Dollar Tree, the whatever, um, just that same color, uh, you'll see on the honey. So this, I just think that was fun making the honey. I don't know. I really liked it, but then we're going to use the same cute little bees and we're going to make a really cute bow. And that was it. And I think it's so pretty and so fun. And again, this would fit probably on like on the top of a tiered tray or anywhere you would like on a shelf wherever. I just think it's so cute. Just adds so much happiness to your home. It's funny. My husband is allergic to bees. And so he's like, these are the only bees I can enjoy <laughs> or the fake ones, you know, but there we go. We're going to paint the honey. And yeah, I just think it turned out so cute. You'll have to definitely let me know what you think. Understand. I know it hurts. It wasn't fair. It's over now, so don't despair. The world could fall down. All right, moving on to the fifth and final DIY of this video. So I have one of these little um, trucks that I got from Dollar General, oh, a long time ago. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and first I'm gonna paint it white because yellow is usually more translucent, not as opaque. And so I wanted to paint it white so it wouldn't take as many coats of yellow. Anyway, I'm gonna paint the whole truck yellow and then I'm gonna use um, a couple different Sharpies. I'm gonna use the first one, it's a black Sharpie, but it's the brush tip. Did you know Sharpies have brush tips? I have a whole package of them with different colors. So it's, it's really nice. Um, it goes on nicely and yeah, so it's a brush tip. And then I'm going to use just a normal Sharpie also. And I'm just gonna, um, you know, draw on the truck and make it look cute. And, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to put a bow on it. It's so simple. I do put one of those cute little bees on it as well. But I really enjoyed this because it just was, I don't know, it was just fun to color and, <laughs> you know, just make it your own. I thought it turned out so cute, though. Um, all right, I'll catch up with you at the end. 
glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was so stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever so free, oh my sweet baby And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing All right, look how cute that turned out I just love it. I think it turned out so super cute. Okay, so we're getting ready to go into the final reveal. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. And I want to thank all the creators in this playlist for um, joining together to bring everyone tons of inspiration. And I hope you enjoyed it all. Please go make sure to check out everyone in the playlist. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.